Okay, we're talking about inflammatory skin diseases, psoriasis, eczema, rashes that you have. Uh, what traditionally has been, the way they've been treated traditionally is just to put something on the surface of the skin. The skin is a window to what's going on on the inside. So although you may have the gene, absolutely, you can certainly mitigate and moderate these things. The first thing, that, the symptoms, the first thing that you want to do is you want to deal with the inside. It's all about optimizing your internal environment, basically. Number one, do you have low hydrochloric acid and need uh, digestive enzymes that have hydrochloric acid in them? Are you full of fungus internally? Are you overgrown with fungus due to your diet? Do you have inflammatory gut disease? Uh, so all those things need to be addressed because in order to try to cure the problem rather than just treat the symptoms in perpetuity, you've got to address the inside. Oftentimes, uh, on occasion, despite uh, my Maximal Street skin products being uh, when I formulated them to be able to be used for medical conditions as well as cosmetic issues. Uh, sometimes I even have to bring in pharmaceutical topicals. That's why I formulated all the skin physiology healthy pharmaceuticals because when you have an inflammatory condition or a rash where the skin, the epidermis, even the dermis is inflamed, you don't want to put any products on the skin that have inflammatory chemicals in there. That's like throwing gas on fire. So, uh, number one is you deal with the inside. Number two, you want to use pharmaceuticals that are healthy, that don't have any of the inflammatory skin conditions. But what can you use uh, of my skin products to help soothe and calm and uh, mitigate the symptoms, basically? Moderate, if not get rid of them entirely. Number one, emu. If you've got a rash that's inflamed, anything that's inflamed, anything that is irritated basically. What you want to do is put emu, it's very calming, it's very soothing. Uh, for shingles, uh, any sort of rash that's inflamed, emu serum, also very healing. Now, if you have a wet rash, if you have an itchy rash, that's generally more of a fungal rash. And so that's when, number one, you want to put serum because it doesn't have oil in there. You don't want to put anything that's oily that holds in moisture. You can use hydration, which has no oil, but helps keep the inflamed skin from losing more water because when it's inflamed, it loses water into the air. So hydration helps stop that. Vitamin C is incredibly anti-inflammatory. Night regeneration, very calming, very soothing for any sort of skin inflammation. So you start, number one, with what's on the inside. Number two, a lot of times, and I am encouraging physicians to always choose products that, from my skin physiology, healthy pharmaceuticals. I formulated the topicals. A lot of times hormones, uh, you need to investigate internally to see uh, if you've got hormonal issues. There's a whole gamut. You see your physician, you see your, your health practitioner to look at internally what's going on, but you've got to deal with the inside and then you have to decrease the inflammation and that starts with not putting inflammatory chemicals on the outside. Gut inflammation you've got to address. I'm a fan of starting with Eat Right for Your Blood Type, which helps decrease gut inflammation. Probiotics, do you need our digestive enzymes that have hydrochloric acid in them? Uh, the Bali diet, B-A-L-I diet, which is not a diet, but it's a way to eat for health and beauty. All of those things which decrease gut inflammation are going to decrease the inflammation on the surface of your skin, even if you have the psoriasis and eczema gene. But so many times it is you are what you eat, food is your medicine, and understand that we cannot medicate you out of what you eat your way into. So it starts with the internals and then the synergistic internal supplements that are going to decrease the inflammation that are going to help uh, heal the gut, help heal the gut, and it starts with food.